Okay, so here we go. This afternoon we're going to be uh, flying over the water for the first time. Taking off in a tricky location on the boat as well. There's plenty of people that are uh, keen to see me send it into the drink. So with a bit of luck I'll be able to take off in a tricky location and, uh, and get it back on the boat again. Decided to go off the front of the boat rather than the back because the stern might be moving around too much in the breeze, which is about 15 k's. We've uh, checked the weather app. Check the uh, what else have we checked? Check the weather app. Check the weather app. Check the wind. Check the conditions. Uh, check the, uh, the the drone app. All clear, ready to go. It's just a matter of putting the uh, putting the air two together uh, and getting on with it. And uh, fingers crossed. Let's see if I can get up the mast and have a look at this, uh, or get to the top of the mast, get some pictures to see what uh, what my mate Dave Swanson does at uh, at Swancraft, and see if he can make up a bracket for me so I can finally get the uh, the wind indicator installed. Let's put it together and uh, go flying. Okay. Don't really want any messages while I'm flying. Everything's good to go. Let's uh let's head out the back. Oh, too much to carry. Too many cameras. Windier than I like. It's moving at the front. Boat's moving around. Picture on the top of that mast. Okay. Let's take her up the front. That's going to be the best spot to go. Will I be able to land it again? into the breeze I think I can do it okay I really want to see my GoPro go flying in the drink that'll have to do
Okay. Well, that was nowhere near as much fun as I thought it would be. Got some pictures of the uh, top of the mast, some video. And uh, attempted to land for about probably five to ten minutes. Sensors were getting uh, jammed with the sails and the mast and me and, and the wind and with the drone so close and back to front it was a bit confusing it was getting a little bit dangerous so i opted out for the uh, emergency landing area over on the shore that's why i'm puffing a bit i had to row over and go and retrieve it but um what a fantastic device with the uh the screen attached you know you just follow the screen i couldn't actually see the drone in the sun and was able to follow the jetty down land in someone's backyard over there and then uh, land safely and just row over and get it and bring it back and uh, might do a little bit more practice before I try any high risk manoeuvres next time. I could have turned the uh, could have turned it on to sport mode and got rid of the sensors, but uh, I think that would have ended in certain disaster. So a bit more practice, and uh, we'll see how we go next time. That'll do. Don't care.